What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today's review is Lion. Lion is a drama film that was directed by Garth Davis and is based on the non-fiction book entitled A Long Way Home, written by Saru Brierly himself and Larry Butrose. Well, this film takes place in India and follows the journey of Saru, played by Sonny Pawar. Saru gets separated from his family at a very young age after he gets caught on a train traveling to Calcutta far away from his family in the area he refers to as Ganestali. After experiencing some serious hardships, Saru is eventually adopted by an Australian family as the story jumps ahead about 20 years where Saru is now played by Dev Patel. Saru, now in his mid to late 20s, is somewhat content with his life, but deep down he feels a longing to find his family and reconnect with them. And the rest of the film is spent watching Saru's evolving relationships take shape in his new environment, while he also attempts to locate his family that he was separated from over 20 plus years ago. Okay, so obviously I went into Lion with some pretty big expectations because I knew it had been nominated for like four Oscars including the big categories like Best Picture, Best Supporting Actor, and Supporting Actress and I'm sort of torn on this one because while I do think Lion is a very very good film I don't think it's quite a great film. There are a lot of really strong elements to Lion but there are a few weaknesses to the film as well but per usual let's start with the strengths because positive thinking and all. The first 30 to 40 minutes of this film are some of the best I've seen narratively in all of 2016 early 20. 2017. You spend this time mostly with young Saru as he travels through unknown territory simply trying to survive and hopefully find his way back to his family. But he travels through this extremely hostile terrain, not speaking the Bengali language, encountering some cruel and selfish people, and even encounters some other children who are in similar situations. This whole first act of the film is really enlightening overall because it gets you thinking on a much deeper level than just Saru's specific dilemma. You get to see the conditions these children and adults in general live in, how the culture approaches these children and their needs, and other similar things that really had me thinking like, wow, maybe a lot of us do take the conveniences we experience in life for granted. Because you see what Saru and the other children in this film go through, and how basically no one will help them, and you're just like, wow, I can't even fathom how difficult this must be for these poor children. But on the topic of Saru, I think Sonny Pawar was my favorite actor in this film. He did so much with so few actual lines that it was actually pretty amazing to watch. It's a very less is more style of approach where most of the actual acting is done through facial expressions and body language language, and that's something very difficult to pull off effectively, especially for an eight-year-old actor, but it worked beautifully. And really just to transition back to the story for a second, there's a lot to like about this true story. It really does come full circle, and by the end of it, you're going to feel like you've been on a roller coaster of emotions because the two halves of the story are very different in style and tone. The first half is really about desperation and confusion and fear, and the second half is more about internal conflict, because the two environments and versions of Saru drastically differ from one another. I think regardless of the point the story's at, the cinematography does a really, really great job of making you feel the weight of the environment that Saru is surrounded by. It works in a way that allows you to connect with Saru on a much deeper level by seeing how he interacts with the world and the people around him. When he grows up in Australia, his personality and his perspective greatly differs from his childhood, not just because of his evolution as a character, but because of his surroundings. There are a lot of really beautiful shots in this film that enhance your understanding of the environment and its importance on the evolution of Saru as a person. So as I mentioned before, the story definitely comes full circle and while I don't want to give too much away about the actual ending, all I'll say is that it's conclusive and satisfying. I think a lot of raw emotion is really built up for the final moments of the film and it really closes out the story in a very interesting yet effective way. Okay, so here's what I want to say about the other actors, mostly Dev Patel and Nicole Kidman. They're good, but these aren't Oscar worthy performances to me. Nicole Kidman is really not even in the movie very much and it kind of seemed to me like she got nominated for one specific scene and it was a great, great scene scene, but to me her performance wasn't groundbreaking or better than some of the other nominees out there that got left off the list. Same with Dev Patel, because while I think this is definitely one of the better performances of his career, I don't think it's as good as I hoped or thought it would be coming in. It's very good, not great, and honestly I thought the film would kind of get even better once Dev Patel arrived on the scene, but it kind of gets worse. What Lion has a tendency to do fairly often is just to get in a safe space and just stay there without moving outside of it in either direction. This occasionally occurs in the first act as well, but is more prevalent in the second and third acts. There's a lot of elements to adult Saru's story that just never quite amount to what they're supposed to. There's a love story with Rooney Mara's character, and while I definitely felt the chemistry between the two, it never felt like it served an actual purpose. And then there's some family drama that doesn't quite feel that important, and the biggest problem I had was Saru's sudden crisis of conflict that seemingly comes out of nowhere. I don't think the film does a very good job of allowing the viewer to really understand why Saru has that sudden crisis of inner conflict. He just lives his life, everything's normal, and then boom, one day he can basically no longer function and is obsessed with tracking 
finding out his family. I mean, I get it, he wants to find his family, but there's no gradual build up to this drastic change in Saru's mindset, and it felt a little sudden and forced. But overall, I still did really enjoy Lion, but I think it's just outside the best picture conversation for me. I thought it had a very inspirational and touching story, some beautiful cinematography and a strong sense of environment, some good acting performances, and a very strong ending. Sadly, I also felt the film doesn't always build upon its story effectively, the love story feels like it served no significant purpose, and Saru's inner conflict seemingly comes out of nowhere. I'm going to give Lion an 8.5 out of 10 and recommend you see this one in theaters if you're looking for an inspirational and touching drama film. So did you guys see Lion yet? What did you think of it? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if not, let me know whether you'd be interested in watching this film or not. And as always, if you like this video, click that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for much more content like this. That's all for now though. This is Will Foxification signing off. See you in the next review.